Hello and welcome back to Down the Dan Revisited. This is episode 2 out of a ongoing series where I go and play um, Down Under Dan in 2018. I'm Coburn, if you haven't already noticed, and we're going to see how far we can get before it gets too cold and my voice gives up because it is really icy right now and as I um, am recording this and playing the game, um, we are going to, I pretty much have a blanket over my feet, so, yeah, it's not the most comfortable or the coziest, uh, but I guess you just got to do what you got to do, so, okay. Enough chit-chat, we'll get to the meat of the game right now, so, here we go. This entire work is copyright, Jeff Wilkie, Power Vision 1995. Really quick, uh, Press enter. You don't need to do that's we'll use that later on i believe yeah i think he used that for eucalyptus oil or something i'm not 100 sure but um yeah so pretty much uh that's all your backpack at the moment and what we're going to do is make sure we have the compass and the chalk if you don't have the compass and the chalk go back and watch my um series on the uh, we'll go back and watch the first video which should be up by the time you see this uh, video um, but yeah pretty much um, go and watch that because if you don't have the chalk or the compass um, or you have one but not the other um, you're screwed you're, well I mean technically you're not screwed because you'll be um, able to follow the instructions here but you know just for the sake of consistency go back and um, get the stuff I mean it's not going to kill you if you have to go through the mo um, rocks again Unlike a certain vine source person who um, rage quit almost at the rocks because it was that hard. Anyway. Now, just to recap your memory, we've got to make sure we have put out the fire. Um, if you haven't put out the fire, well, shit's going to happen and get real... Um, well, shit's going to happen real um, fast. But as you can see in this save file, we do have put out the fire, so that's all good. Um, that's no problem. So we're just going, I'm just checking my window to make sure there's no cats trying to claw the crap out of my voice screens, which happens. Just stray And now we are going to stone fall down in the mines, so you'll lose 20% of your HP. Oh! Now that hurt. An old mountain boy. With your eagle-like eyesight, you spot the valve still in the tire, so you swiftly remove it. The rest of the tire is worthless. Mega! Okay, so we've already got that, and that's good. Now what we need to do is pretty much get out of the mines. Now, if you don't have the... the thing is in the mines at the moment, you will encounter what's known as red uh, spiders or something that will kill you if you're um, uh, if you're not careful with the you know wandering around in the mines so um, 
usually when you encounter them around this time, um, you are entering an area where you shouldn't be, and you should just get out of there. Um, but you, you'll get the shotgun later on, but before we can do that, we have to go to a few areas. And that may be the subject for another video, but, um, or another episode in this series, but, um, yeah. Now, what's interesting with this music is um, that if you save and load a few times, the music actually gets deeper and the bad, the actual um, sounds get a little bit more yep. um, intense, you know, like the, the actual, um, what do you call it, the instruments tend to get a little bit corrupt or something, I'm not sure. I'm sure I can find a nice warm home for this wayward witchetty grub. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and it's reset the hints counter. I had 16 of them, or even more than that. Okay, that's it. That's a game design issue. Um, yeah, okay. What we'll do next is pretty much um, use the, start using the chalk and... Whilst scratching the chalk with your thumbnail, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's indecisive chalk. Okay, so from here, if you want to map this out, um, pretty much a good idea to do so. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have to do this a bit later on, but um, yeah. So we're gonna just save here, just called um, Enter. Caves Mount Empty And we'll save again because I'm going to go back and actually oh, I didn't save what um, Cave Enter Empty And we'll save again just for good measure And we'll just call this um, Mines Because this is what my, the mines is Alright, so we've got pretty much everything like that, and we need to go north or south. Um, now, from the top of my head, I believe you go south here. Uh, so we'll just go south. And I believe here... Okay, north and that. We'll use the chalk once that's gone. North and south are just up and down. Normal. Whilst scratch. Alright, so we're at the double intersection here. Um, we're going to use this. And north and south, so it'll probably go down the west. Oh, you can't. Just got to wait for it to go away. Whilst scratching the chalk with your th If there's. If the chalk doesn't go in that direction, you shouldn't go there uh, because it's obviously going to lead to either a, the killer spider or um, pretty much just uh, pretty much a dead end. Whilst east, okay. So we'll just check that again. And it's east, so we'll just go to the east.
You can't. Well. East. Again. Okay. Looks like a dead end. However, you know. You notice a crack in the wall. This is where the end game happens. So. Um, yeah, that's how it is. So you pretty much just turn this on. It doesn't do anything just yet, but that's okay. You better not. You might get your finger stuck. Yep, but no worries. Okay, now here is the fun part that a lot of people um, get stuck here, but what you do is use the chalk. Whilst scratching the chalk with your thumbnail. Hmm, that's strange. This needs in... And Dan will do it himself. Stone the crows, I feel weightless. <laughs> Corrugated iron. <laughs> Just the thing for a soft landing. Yep, you lose 20% of your HP, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, 40%. So that's it. Um, you add the mines, and pretty much um, the chalk helps you. Now the croc won't be there, but what I would highly recommend doing is saving again and uh, just saving this mines exit. That's pretty much all there is to do that. Now the croc will reappear there, so yeah. all good to go here. Um, he won't have the Dingo Trap just yet. Talk to Robbo, I think. It has no... no. Hi, Dan. Okay, so he's gone, that's normal. Get up! The Aborigine just sits there, quite oblivious to his surroundings. He seems to be daydreaming. Straya! this and we'll keep going going and going oh excuse me the farmer reminds you of an old mate you had if you recall it correctly, your mate's name was Fugly, because he was flamin' ugly. Good old Fugly holds nothing on the farmer. The farmer is at least twice as ugly as Fugly will ever be. Yeah, a bit of an easter egg there. Just trying to think now what you have to do. Do you talk to her? Hi Jack! No, this is not going to turn into a joke about someone that wants to fly to Cuba. Think about it. Hi Dan! No. Well get out of here! Happy chappies aren't they? Dum dee do dum dee do doi dee diddly doi doi dee 
Did someone say something? Yes, it was. What? Well, I was going to the airport and I seen a sign that said airport left. So I went home. Lord Street. I've heard that one before. Don't you know any others? And then I went to the train station. And I said, give me a return ticket for one, please. And the fella said, where to? I said, back here, you idiot. Well, you think you're funny? Here's one for you. The magic slippery dip. Whatever you say while you're sliding down, you land in it. So the Australian slid down the slippery dip and he said, Beer! He landed in a big puddle of beer. And the Scotsman slid down and said, Scotch whiskey! And landed in a big puddle of scotch. And the Irishman slid down and went, Wee! But what did he land in? Shut up and let us get some rest. <laughs> yeah. Well, he landed a big bottle of piss, so yeah. Um, we'll just save it again, and we're gonna call this one, uh, Sheep. <laughs> Okay, you gotta trigger that um, cutscene uh, with uh, with Jack for her for um, Nicole to be doing dishwashing. Dishwashing, yeah, that sort of thing. Besides yourself, Nicole is one of the busiest people you know. She is currently going about one of her many chores. Microwave oven. This calendar is out of date. It's just. Genuine 100% fake wood panelling. Peak the plastic plant. If the markings on the calendar are current, today is Friday. Looks comfortable. Looks com You have no time to relax, Dan. You're a man with a mission. Yeah, so we've got to basically just wait until um, she gets out of here. Which happens like that, so that's okay. Uh, First, is since we've got this uh, condiment basket, you can't take take a look at the basket. Looks like no by the looks of castor oil, castor eucalyptus. Okay, we need the eucalyptus store for later. I think. You pour some of the eucalyptus oil into your small. M Good thinking, Dan. You're a real fart smeller, smart fella. I mean. This compressed carbon dioxide cartridge is bound to have a million and one year mega. Shut that, I was she complains when you next time go to the And that's pretty good. So we've pretty much done this. Now we pretty much go over here and since we have the valve we save because we're gonna uh, muster them up now. So we're going to use this um, valve here. I wonder if this valve from the wheel in the old mine will fit the bike. You little beauty, that's a perfect fit. Yeah. Due to the air pressure inside the compressed CO2 cartridge being higher than that of the air inside the front tyre, it rapidly releases its compressed gases into the front tyre of the bike, causing it to take the shape it was intended to. <laughs> Round. The CO2 bottle is not the only thing full of gas. Uh, putting it simply, I pumped the tyre up. Yeah, what he said. Choice! It seems a shame. Looks like the front tyre is handling the pressure. Alright, if you didn't do that, you would get a game over. So. Oxyacetylene equipment. The four-wheel drive is in the same state of repair as most of the other junk in the shed. Stuffed. We're going to save again, just for good measure. And yes, people are going to say, oh, but you're saving a lot. Well, 
I'd rather save than have to redo all the shit again. Mustered the sheep, the real work begins. Now we need to get full health, so what we're going to do is we're just going to heat the army ants. And my mouse cursor is glitching again. Um, no. Hmm, now yeah, that's what I call. <clears throat> now we can go back and do it again. Um, I believe that just restores about. Uh, what is it, 40% of your health? Not enough for, um... Now there's a happy black. I wonder what's that. But remember now that we've eaten that, we can go back and get another stick. And we'll really use the stick and get the honey ants. I saw this trick on that movie. What a croc dundee. Step one. Step two. Step two. Honey ants. Beauty, mate. Hang on to your honey ants, Dan. You're not hungry enough to warrant eating. Don't waste your grub. You don't need it now. I'm not sure if we've just encountered another bug. The shearing handpiece would probably The shear You attach the handpiece to the shearing stand. Lucky you're feeling fit, Dan. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I believe that sets you at a hundred at ten HP once you're done, but I think we're gonna get screwed here. So, I'm not 100% sure. It could be lenient. Just hoping it's not going to give us a 
Your yeah. blade's blown already. Lucky I got my hands on some spares. That would have to be one of the fastest blade chain. Too bad. You're going to anyway. Here we go again. I just can't. Rather than force you to watch eight hours of this, I think it will suffice to say that Dan spends the rest of his day shearing sheep. Finally, at the end of the day, they're all shorn. Okay, as you noticed, um, the HP has gone down to dirty, mate. Ugly, smelly, filthy, rotten animals. Don't know what the Kiwis see in them. Realizing that you never want to shear another sheep in your life, you throw the handpiece down the chute at the last sheep. A quick check reveals that you've still got ten fingers. Well done, Dan. So yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, you have to be at least 100 or 90% health. Um, I wish you get the prompt that you're not feeling too well, I believe. So um, that's... Just soft lock the game. No, for whatever reason, the game is running really slow. I couldn't move it for whatever reason. Mm. Yeah, it seems to be having some issues. Okay. Hi, Jack. I know. Nicole's already in. She said that you did an excellent job. If you say so. Mustn't have seen the gaping wounds I created with that handpiece. Go in and see Nicole. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated, mate. You pause on your way back to the kitchen to observe the spectacular sunset. Nicole makes you a delicious sheep's eye and goat's brain omelette. You can hardly eat it. Anything to stop it staring at me. Nicole hears some of your best yarns and worst. Finally, sleep overpowers you. Or was it Nicole's omelette? Dreaming is even out of the question. You're just too exhausted. The next morning, you wake to Nicole's sweet voice. I think you'd better go and see Jack. Why? He's very upset and would like to talk to you. You gotta help me, Dan. It's me prize bull, Patch. He's missing. If you can bring him back to me property, me automatic shotgun, it's yours to keep. Consider it done. Oh, by the way, Jack, I come across this huge aborigine yesterday, but I couldn't... Yeah, that would have been rigid edge in one of his trances. To snap him out of it, you just got to call out his name. Uh, I'll remember that. Okay, 
so after the, that, the story's progressed, and we are now in Saturday. So if you just heard that little sound, that's a hint that there's an item there. You gotta wait for her to go away, but um... Friday has been crossed off, so I guess it's Saturday. That's one less item to clutter in a All right! So we've got 95 out of our 250 items. We're almost halfway through the game. That's all good. Again, if you haven't got the bottle, go back and get the bottle from the area, and we go from there. So... Phew! Something around. That'll be the day. Now, don't... Gotta be extra careful here because there's a red back. So we're gonna save before we do that. Don't click on the dummy. Whatever you do, you need to go on the actual jar and use this. You have no need to do good thinking, Dan. You quickly scoop the highly venomous red back spider into the glass jar. Awesome! Don't bother, Dan. You already have the red back in your jar. So that's pretty much the red back, and you get three more points, so we're on a roll. Well, I might as well get some old pieces of news. Well, let's do So we just do that then. Oh. Cool. You see no nothing unusual, okay. That's pretty much okay. We don't need to do anything there. Now the The ball will be up at Rabbit Ridge, but you don't want to do anything there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, shit. Sleepy. Fuck. Um but you don't want to go up there because you get bitten by the redback spider. Ah, uh, not redback spider, sorry. Uh, snake. Which will, again, kill you. So, what you need to do is go back and talk to Mad Mike, I believe. We'd actually talk to this Aborigine first. Hi, Ridgey Dej. How do you know my name, Bella? Jack told me. Do you know Farmer Jack, eh? Yeah, I've been helping him out on the farm. He's always managed on his own before now. Something wrong with him, eh? Apart from having two heads, four ears, four eyes and two bad personalities, he's perfectly fine. Cool. If his second head's anything like the first, mate, he's got big problems with that fella. Yeah, it's not a pretty sight. I wish there was something... My old grandfather once told me... If I remember right... First thing we need to help Farmer Jack, eh, is a bone from the Red Dirt Country. Hmm, what else will we need? Once I have the bone, mate, I'll know more. Hmm, a bone from the Red Dirt Country. I'd better get started. There's probably only 300,000 square k's to cover. Here, fella, take these here yams. They're all I got to help you on your quest. Thanks. Good luck, Dan. Okay, so we've got another one, we're at 101 out of 250 things, which is pretty good. Uh, we're just going to save over the top of this one and call it uh, Mike. Just wait for this guy to 
finish um, cutting his wood and we'll give him the dingo trap and hopefully get the wall off translator. Mike, this trap's really weighing me down. It will be a pleasure to get rid of it. Have you repaired the wildlife translator yet, Mac uh, I mean, Mike? Sure have. Tested it out this morning on a hairy-nosed duck-billed kangawalla fox. And it's working like a bought one. I should mention it has only been programmed for some of the local wildlife. So didn't go talking to any polar bears. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. They leave me cold anyway. Here's the trap. Don't worry about the blood. <laughs> it's just mine. Far out. Mike owns the trap now. You don't need it. So we've pretty much got, the, uh, got that. And now we're going to talk to the grey kangaroo, which is, surprise, surprise, all the way um, up back up the mountains. Actually, we don't want to go there just yet. We want to go down here and see if we can talk to the wombat. He may or may not spawn. It's just a matter of um, waiting the waiting game. So not sure he gets a or sometimes it doesn't even come up. Oh, excuse me again. Shit. Get to it. <laughs> Not a wise move. Not a w no. <coughs> okay, so apparently that's not the way you do it. <coughs> Yeah, that happens. <coughs> and once you're on the croc, you'll be fine because it's just a matter of basically timing it. Now, you have to, I'm not sure which one is which, but um, I believe you can jump across to this little block. <coughs>
Looks very buoyant. Looks very. Looks like the drought might be. Looks very buoyant. Just a matter of time before those long jumping over croc infested river lessons would pay off. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, but yeah, it, it get, it's tricky like that. You just have to persist. Um, just a word of warning that the ones here and also the croc puzzles will be different per game. So what you see here may be different, but the same rule applies. So yeah. Alright, so we'll do the same thing with the, um, with all the, um, map and everything. So we just look at it. This map, sure. We're going to take the green one first, so we'll do that first. One. mouse to remove map. So it's either the, the grey or the other one there, so let's try the grey uh, gray one. <coughs> yep, okay, so it'll be grey. Click mouse to remove map. mouse to remove map. Ah, blast. And that's what happens when... Looks like you're... mouse to remove map. mouse to remove uh, okay. map.
You look around to make sure there are no video cameras pointing in your direction. Can you understand me? If you can't, I'm going to look pretty stupid. Yes, I understand, but you still look pretty stupid. <laughs> it's truth! I can't believe it! You'd better believe it. You really do look stupid. No, I, I mean, I can't believe the translator actually works! It sure does. Mad Mike was one of the world's greatest inventors. But when he started to lose his memory, he decided to retire to the bush. Either that or he got on the wrong bus one day. That man's a genius. Compared to you, a fence face is a genius. <laughs> one more comment like that and you'll make the endangered species list. I'm sorry I behaved like a drongo, Sport, but I've lost my joey. I was up here on the high cliffs practicing my long jump for the 2000 Olympics when Joey bounced clean out of my pouch. I haven't seen him since. I've tracked some wildlife in my time, you know. Maybe I can help. I would be grateful. I'd better hop to it then. Alright, so this is going to be another one of having to navigate the mines again. And we're at 20, 47 minutes. Um, so, I guess this is going to work, um, it could, maybe not, but, uh, let's give it a shot anyway. Okay, so back in the mines we go, and we are going to pretty much, uh, oh shit, excuse me, I'm not sure if that's picking up on stream, um, not stream, on recording, but fuck now. Okay. If I keep at this, I'm going to just have to call the quiz. Stone the crap. No. Yeah. Where did that come from? Funny you should bring that up, Dan. It looks like a map of some kind. You don't expect me to swallow that, do you? It's a good job you didn't. I never was a little bug. Now, this is a big hint. Huh? huh? What we've just got is, um... Well, pretty much the mind map. That's exactly what you need, so... Yeah. Um, you don't have to map it all out, but it's all good, but, um... Yeah, um, so where we're at at the moment is, I believe, we are at, um, where are we, we are at, I'm just going to, um, move a little bit because, Okay, so I think from what I can see, oh great, is S the start or something? I'm not sure. Because later in the game it actually will update to tell you where it is, but where you are, but right now it's not, so um, I assume we're going to go down south and work our way towards the river, so, yeah, okay, um, we'll just use the chalk. Well. It's all good, so south, we'll go south. Joey here, what's he doing here? 
Try using it. Try you. Try. Try you. Try. Try. You're just. You're just. The root. Try you. Try you. Try. Try. The wildlife translator doesn't work on the little Joey. It must be too young. I think you gotta catch him. Something. Gotcha! Mrs. Roo's gonna be very happy. Beauty, mate. Yeah, so we have a, um, there we go. We're gonna save it and call Joey. I knew you couldn't pick him up, but, um, yeah, pretty much go from there. That's all good. So, yeah, okay. Now we've got that. Um, we just pretty much gotta get the hell out of here. So that's north and south, so we'll probably go south again, just wait for the compass to go away, then we use the chalk. Well. Whilst, if there's one. I believe we go down the west, I believe. You can't, you. There's no time to cook the grub. Hmm, now yeah, that's... <clears throat> okay, that only restores 20% of your health, but, um, yeah. Um, still hasn't shown you the update. Okay, there's no problems. Well... You can't wait for this to go away. So we go south. And we go here. Now north that I did we go east here? I'm pretty sure we did. That's good. We go up here, and then we pretty much go down below here. Stone the crows. Be careful. Be careful. <coughs> One. And now it's just a process of elimination again. Remember to save and load a lot. This map's sure gonna take some folding.
Click mouse to remove map. Mouse to rip. Click mouse to remove. <coughs> Click mouse to remove map. Click mouse to remove map. Yeah, and you'll lose more health, but that's okay because um, we just carefully go here and we go along here, and you have successfully given back the. Any luck finding? Yep, he's safe and sound. Thank you ever so much for rescuing my baby. No worries. Glad I could help. He must have fallen down the mine. Lucky you found him when you did. There's some pretty weird gadgets down there. Such as? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Mike the Hermit used to be the world's greatest inventor until his memory went. He had just finished his greatest invention, the molecular constipation machine. And then his memory started to go. And when you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh. The machine is in the old mine and is capable of transferring matter through time and space. Oh yeah. The mine is a complicated maze full of switches. All but one of the switches has a number or letter associated with it. Oh, blimey. To activate the machine, these switches must be set. Oh, really? When this code is entered, a code sheet must be fed into the machine for... Wow. A code sheet is in Mike's handwriting to prevent the machine falling into the wrong hands. He gave the code sheets to various wildlife. I guess he thought he could trust us more. Oh, I... Unless you have a photographic memory, I would map out the mine as you... Oh, sure. Here, take this code sheet. I'm sure Mike must have wanted you... Mega. Sorry it got a bit dirty in my pouch. Hmm, yeah. Ah, oh, be on the lookout for bogus code sheets. Gee, that... Hey. If you believe a kangaroo can talk, all this stuff should be easy to swallow. I assume the code sheet works like a return ticket. Too right. When you're ready to return from a far off place, just rub it on your body to activate the beam. Interesting. Whoa! And we pretty much go down here, and we've got the wombat here. G'day, mate. What? I didn't think humans could talk, Wombatties. Sure, anybody. Oh, I should have guessed. That Blake's gadgets keep getting weirder. If only he would invent... Yeah, I could do with a rude burger or two. Can't remember the last one I had. Oh, I'm sick. You wouldn't have... Hang on. G'day! Fancy some of these fresh yam? Well, thanks my fate. I guess it takes all kinds. It's nice to be waited on occasionally.
Wow, that mail was excellent. Is there any way I can ref... Well, since improving your table manners is probably out of the question, maybe you can tell me if you heard of Mad Mike's code sheets. Heard of them? In my pouch for years. I'll be glad to get rid of it. Oh, this is great! And I can still make out the code, even under all this wombat sh uh, sweat. Wombatus Rotundi Maximus. A wombat. I'm too full to talk anymore. See you later. <laughs> and that'll be the end of the wombat. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'll be the end of the wombat. Now, that's pretty much um, what we got to do. At this point in the game, I get confused to what we're going to... Oh, excuse me, okay, I'm gonna have to resort to the um, hints and there'll be a red herring, I believe. You take one look at your map and realize that it bears no relevance to your current position. So these are all of ours we've got now, so we're gonna just try D. And that is pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to go to a Air Rock to in the next episode. So that's pretty much this episode. In the next episode, like I said, we're going to Air Rock. We're going to get the bone. We're going to mash up that bloody um, redback spider, and we're going to save um, Jack. I think that was his name. Yeah, one of the two. Meh. He can wait. But anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did recording this. Um, and yeah, um, please feel free to give a like and if you want to, give a subscribe because I will have more content coming in the near future. So, other than that, um, stay safe, stay warm if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. I've always stay cool if you're in the summer. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm going to sign off. So, until next time, Coburn out. Have fun.